what is up everyone this is me prasanna balakrishnan back again this time for the match review of chennai super kings versus royal challengers bangalore in the ipl 2021 phase 2 and chennai super kings have got yet another win that's two wins on the bounce now in the phase 2 that has restarted um of the ipl which was restarted on the 19th of september which was the sunday and csk are back to top of the table and before i go into this match review or like all of you to like this video the subscribe button and hit the bell notification button to get more match reviews like this um i will post my mumbai indians match review as well the link towards it right right up here at towards the end of the studio you can have a look at that as well and i will be doing regular match reviews as well i will be doing definitely one for um, kkr but before that i will be doing for chelsea versus man city tomorrow as well you keep uh keep a watch out for that but uh, going on to this game um obviously see chennai super kings royal challengers bangalore the huge southern derby a huge rivalry um many great games have gone by uh, many thrilling moments have gone by but today was in any sort of thrilling whatsoever because chennai super kings absolutely uh, stamped their authority on the game um not throughout the whole game though let's be fair um the first 10 overs of royal challengers bangalore innings Uh, they had complete control of it 10 to 12 overs but once they started losing wickets and never got any momentum and chennai super kings pulled things back brilliantly towards the end uh, restricted them to a score and we chased it down brilliantly um although without um not being that easy because that's how chennai super kings runs we never like to do things the easy way do we uh, saying that look at the scorecard here obviously um you see our cb batted first it was chennai super kings that won the toss and uh, elected to bowl first speaking of the toss it was actually delayed by around 10 15 minutes because of a sandstorm in charja um of course we do have ter- terrific memories of the desert storm in charja in 1998 which i don't need to elaborate to to every one of you because you would know what happened uh, at that moment of time um but the toss happened chennai super kings won the toss and they elected to bowl first um i was actually surprised given that uh, sam karan was back because in the mumbai indians game he was out due to quarantine and this game he didn't play it csk stick with the same squad as they do for most of the games tony doesn't like to change um his lineups when he feels the starting lineup is good enough he doesn't rest or uh, change the lineups unless and until anybody is injured rcb though uh, they did make a couple of changes uh, they took out sachin baby and put in tim david in place of him they took out uh, kyle hamison who I thought who I thought was a which I thought was a surprise because he is a very good bowler the tall pacer who can extract swing and bounce and instead of him they bought Navdeep Saini who is a good bowler but uh, he's not he's not going to scare you as much as Kyle Hamilton does let's be totally honest with that and RCB started extremely well um, you see that without Kohli and Devdar Parikal they absolutely took liberties between themselves the first two balls going for four and you were thinking oh my god is this going to be Uh, is Kohli going to take away the game uh, for all chances Bangalore yet again because we remember what he did in the IPL 2021 game between CSK and RCB uh, the match was kind of even um, in the stage and uh, RCB lost quick wickets they lost Devdar Parikal they lost uh, ABD Williams very quick uh, but Kohli took center stage and absolutely tore apart the CSK bowlers he finished off with 90 not out and eventually RCB won the game and uh, and today was about to go the same way albeit i wouldn't say they weren't they didn't have a massive score at the end uh, the end of probably 10 overs because we all know sarja is a batting paradise they actually came up to 90 of 10 overs uh, 90 overs at 10 overs you would think it's good but it's not great um because sarja is a batting paradise and if 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 you are going to say great score you would probably somewhere be around the lines of 110 or 100 for nolos for that matter but they still had wickets in hand and obviously with the likes of Fabi de Villiers, Glenn Maxwell, Tim David to come in um they were destined for a big score but uh, Dwayne Bravo DJ Bravo as we call him and he applied the brakes on uh, when he got out uh, without Kohli caught by Jadeja um, at the deep boundary that was 13.2 and 111 for one that was um de Villiers came in for obvious reasons because you want to accelerate the scoring and there that parikal was still there batting well um and then came sardul takur and his brilliant uh, 16th over um it went for 16 yes but eventually at the end of it he got two wickets two wickets in two balls abd villiers got out 
trying to go for another big shot. Uh, didn't get anyone near the middle of the bat. Easy catch for Suresh Raina at the 30-yard circle. And Devad Padikal, again, as he got out against KKR, got out in a similar fashion again, trying the ramp, um, not a ramp, trying a dab or something. Uh, completed in workout. Easy catch to Raidu at uh, short third man. And uh, basically, that was it. That kind of derailed the momentum. And uh, as you see after that, Maxwell, Tim David, Harshar Patel, um, none of them got going. And that was mostly down to the fact that the Chanesha Patins bowlers, they were brilliant in the last few overs. Last five overs just yielded 38 runs. And we CSK took five wickets at the end of it. That is absolutely brilliant at bowling. And that too at Sharjah, where even if you spit, it will go for a six. That's how small the grounds are, literally. Um, apart from maybe one side, um, probably around Cow Corner, um, which is around the mid wicket area, which was quite the longer side of the boundary. But otherwise, straight boundaries and square boundaries are pretty short, and you can easily clear them if you connect it with the middle of your bat. And that was the RCB innings. It ended at 156 for, for six at the end of the 20 overs. From where they were, 90 in 10 overs. Um, with the batting they had, I, ex I at least expected them to go on and make 280 or 200 minimum. Because we all know what ABD can do at the peak of his purse. He can literally take the game away from you. And... Uh, Kohli, actually, in his post-match press conference, he actually mentioned that he was 15, just 15, 20 runs short. Well, hold on. I think you were actually more shorter than that, given the start you had. Um, the brilliant start you had. But actually, massive shout-out to Kohli again today. Um, first game, uh, we all know that was uh, batting shambles from KK, uh, against KKR. But uh, given the fact that they, they were so poor there, the way they came back today, they were Kohli was brilliant today. He set the tone right from the first ball. And uh, 53 or 41, he scored at the end. Probably could have scored at a faster rate. Um, the reason I say that is given it's Sharjah and not uh, a larger ground like, say, in Abu Dhabi or Dubai, um, you would expect a batsman of his quality to score a bit more. But what I liked about um, Kohli and Patikal's partnership is not only did they score at regular intervals, but they took... Uh, uh, strike rotation, singles, doubles, those are all very, very important. For example, if you're able to attack the strike, let's say four balls and a row, take four singles, get a boundary or a six, and then another run. That's nine or ten runs already. And that's what you need to maintain every single over, um, which is what I liked of them. Unfortunately, the batsmen below them, they couldn't make use of the great start. Um, I would put it down to CSK's bowling rather than RCB's batting because our bowling was brilliant. Uh, Dwayne Bravo, as we all know, what he can do. Bravo was brilliant. Taco was brilliant. Two overs, two, four overs, two for 29 in his four overs. Deepak Chahar expensive in his first three overs, but came back um, and his fourth over just gave away four runs. Uh, he was three overs, none for 31, but uh, ended up four overs, one for 35. Josh Hazelwood wasn't bad, albeit he didn't take any wickets today. And Jareja's, if you see Davinda Jareja, four overs, none for 31. Now, in the middle part where RCB weren't scoring that freely, his none for 31 um, provided a massive difference to it because he didn't allow the batsman to score freely. And four overs none for 31 is a superb uh, bo return, bowling return for some for a spinner at Sharjah because we all know um, both the spinners at Sharjah, they got absolutely clobbered by Sanju Samson last, last year. And that was the RCB batting. CSK, um, it was their turn to bat. You would think it's a simple target given the batsman we have. And to a certain degree, we kind of made it look simple. Rutraj Gaikwad continuing where he left off um, on that day, on Sunday. Pav Duplessis didn't get, didn't put runs on the board that day, but today he was good. Um, for about four or five hours, it did look a bit off, to be fair. Apart from one uh, scoop six that he hit, he looked kind of out of touch. But there was one over from, I think it was Navdeep Saini, where he, was, he went for it. He scored one six on a boundary, and then the game was on from there. Um, eight overs, we raced, we raced to 60 sun for Nolos, and you're thinking, okay, um, this should be a comfortable win. We do have a net run rate, uh, positive net run rate, a heavy net, high net run rate, but don't lose wickets and just see this chase till the end. But CSK being CSK, we like to give heart attacks, and when there went two wickets and two overs, first one, Chahal. I took the wicket of Gaikwar. I thought Chahal bowled well today. Um, you just look at his figures there. Four hours, one for 26. That's absolutely brilliant figures. Uh, an outstanding catch by Vidar Kohli. Diving forward is never easy. 
um, especially if it's coming at that pace, it's tipping. You don't know whether it's standing at the last moment or not. You just have to take a chance. He took a chance and it paid off for him. And the next door again, he took a chance bowling with bowling Glenn Maxwell. He um, he bowled him and uh, Pav Duplessis tried to sweep, but there was a very good catch by Navdeep Saini. It was traveling and he took the catch and that was brilliant. And I said, and at that point, um, I kind of went into panic station because you never know what's happening in the T20 RCB stays for up. But the, still, the scoring rate was not. St uh, still, the scoring rate was actually good, and the asking uh, rate was not that high. And then in came Moin Ali and Namba Tiraidu. They played uh, sensibly. They played a few shots. They took the calculated risk, took four or five singles in an over, and then hit the big shot. And that was what was absolutely necessary. Uh, we see that Moin 8, 23 of 18, Raidu 32 of 22. Um, these are all very good innings. And uh, both of them fell to Harshar Patel. Harshar Patel did bowl, did bowl well today, um, varying his score balls, getting the wickets of Moin Ali and uh, Ambati Raidu. But at the end, Suresh Raina and MS Dhoni finishing off the innings. This took me back to 2010, 2011 times when both of them were at an absolute peak of their powers. And uh, both of them finishing the game, absolutely. Um, that kind of signifies CSK. Um, you called us oldies or um, dad, uh, daddy's army or whatever. But we work as a team and we make, we. I don't think we have the best squad out here, but we do have a group of understanding players who know what they're actually doing and a captain who is very smart and knows what he is doing from top to bottom. Um, there we ended, 157 for four, 18.1 overs. Look at the bowling there. Siraj didn't bowl too badly, I felt. Navdeep Saini went for runs. Hasaranga went for runs. Uh, Hasar Patel did bowl decently. Chahal bowled very well. And Maxwell bowled decently. Um, as you see the final scorecard here. 156 for, uh, for 157 for 4. 18.1 was 9 balls. 11 balls to spare. And we end the game. And, uh, and that was brilliant to watch. And... Uh, and... Yeah, that's about it. We go top of the league. I can probably show you the table around here. Just give me a second. Let me pull it up. And there it is. You see CSK on top of the table. 14 points. Net run rate of plus 1.185. An absolute brilliant. Uh, close behind us are Delhi Capitals. Same number of points, but just a smaller net run rate. And RCB losing two games in a row. Um, losing badly. Their run rate has taken a big hit. KKR, um, they have got two massive wins. Their run rate has taken, uh, gone up another level. And uh, yeah, Sunday we face KKR. And this is going to be a massive battle. Now we are four points clear of third place uh, RCB. And uh, effectively, if we win three more games, we are assured of a top two finish. And probably one more win would um, ensure playoffs um, qualification. But I think they'll aim for the top two finish, if not the top of the table finish. And that's it for my review. If you like this video, consider liking this video, the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to get notifications whenever I uh, upload videos like this or go live. Um, that's another win. And see you all on Sunday's review against KKR for Chennai Super Kings and tomorrow against for Chelsea versus Man City review. I will post my match review of... CSK is Mumbai Indians right here. You can click a link on it and share it. And obviously, subscribe to my channel, uh, Prasanna Balakrishnan. I will be doing regular cricket and football content. Until then, stay home, stay safe, and wash some hands.